Team F, August Kali, Brian Lutz, Curtis Mall, and Shu Jillian. During the course of the AV project, we've learned a lot about teamwork, we've learned a lot about delegating tasks, we've learned a lot about how to do the design process, and we've learned a lot about how to build something. This is our AED design. It is based off of a dual propeller cross-shaped system. We use a top and a bottom bridge, one to support the wheel arm and the other to support the battery. This allows the center of mass for the AED to be concentrated along one axis instead of dispersed among the entire AED. This further allows the AED to be steady while navigating the track and carrying the rtd unit safely back along the rail. Oh, hello there. There are several steps that Team F took during the AEV project to increase the efficiency of the design. One of the main methods this was accomplished by was the custom design of a laser cut part in order to provide support for the bridge. We accomplished this by taking a normal design that had six holes by three and chopping it down to a four hole by three hole design. This design allows enough clearance for the Arduino unit to be located below the bridge design and it also has enough clearance to, pre to prevent putting stress on the wires that connect from the sensors down to the Arduino unit itself. Another means by which the team increased efficiency was by using a puller design on the propellers. Through testing, we found that this design used less energy and was more efficient in the use of our AV design. Okay, so next, uh, let's talk about the code we wrote. Uh, actually, like our AV started here, and uh, we firstly made the speed, made the power to be 35% of the total power. And uh, when it goes, when it goes like at something, some place over here, we said we make the we make the direction reversed, and make it make the power to be forty five because we already know that the brake com command will will not actually break the AEV, it only breaks the motor. Ready? Okay. So now next. We should make the AEV exactly stops here, which is between the second center and the first center. If we did a pass from the first center, then the gate will not detect our AEV coming. But if, if our AEV passed the second sensor, then the gate will never open. So we should stop exactly between the first and the second sensor. Okay, so here, once we stop the AEV here directly, then we have to wait for seven seconds in order to let the gate open. And once the gate open, then the AEV can start to run in this direction. But one thing to be noticed is that like when we stop the AEV here, we actually, at first we may forward, re reverse the direction. So here, we, we, in order to make it Wrong again, then we have to reverse the direction back. Okay, so once the AEV goes to here, it should attach the R2D2 unit. Okay, so once when we, once when we attach the R2D2 unit, then the AEV should go back here, and the first, the initial bit. The initial power we set is also like 35%. Okay, and uh, the AEV goes here, it should stop exactly between the first center and the second center at what it, at what it is here. And also like seven, seven seconds for pose. Okay, so after, sec after seven seconds, the, the gate will open again, then the AEV just goes back to here and stops here. So and actually in our code we use the absolute position instead of instead
general relative precision. The reason we use that is because if we use relative precision, precision because like the battery is not exactly the same. So sometimes the image stops here or sometimes it stops very slightly a little bit, like far or something like that. So once we stop not exactly the same position, then 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 if we use relative precision it will affect it will have affect our like, next performance and the new and the, which will result the big error. The team started by coming up with four individual designs of their own. Some of the designs that were came up by the members were design A, the bullet train design, design B, a quad propeller design, design C, a rotating wing design, and design D, a, a racer design. Upon using an evaluation matrix to, com to compare these designs, the team came together and incorporated the ideas that we liked best from all the designs to come up with our final design, the cross-shaped design. Once the final design was selected, the team went into a more in-depth analysis by analyzing how the code ran on our selected design. This power versus time and power versus distance graphs demonstrate the efficiency of our selected model. As you can see, from the power versus time graph, it clearly illustrates where the AEV was with respect to the course. Towards the beginning of the graph, you can tell that the AEV has just started as the power is consistent. The power peaks when the propellers are reversed in order to slow down the AEV at the gate. When there is no power being consumed, the AEV has completely stopped at the gate and is waiting for it to be opened. Once the gate is opened, the AV resumes the same amount of power as it had when it began and goes under the same process when attaching to the R2D2 unit. This process is this graph is then repeated in the reverse direction as the AV returns with the R2D2 unit. The power versus distance graph displays the same readings but instead of respect to time, it is respect to distance. 